No other prehistoric animals have divided opinions more than the Megalodon, mostly about the question whether it still exists or not. While a lot of experts definitely say that these monsters are long gone, there are still some who fervently believe that they still roam the Earth's waters. Many sightings of the mighty fish have been reported through the decades, some of which are so compelling that it's really hard not to believe that these monsters died out millions of years ago. The number one sighting is particularly curious, so stay tuned for that. Here are 10 sightings of the Megalodon that may prove it still exists. Number 10. An unverified attack. Let's start things off not with an actual sighting, but with the possible outcome of a close encounter with a Megalodon. A few years ago, a photo surfaced on the internet showing a beached whale. While seeing a beached whale is already strange and sad in itself, there is something that sets this event apart from the rest. The whale's entire tail is missing, and it looks like it's been bitten off by something large. The most compelling thing about the photo is that you can clearly see bite marks around where the tail should have been. Now, this is a 70-foot humpback whale, one of the largest animals in the oceans. Who could have done such a thing? Now, while it is true that orcas or killer whales have a habit of hunting and feeding on whales, it isn't known whether they can take on a whale of this size. Plus, experts believe that the tail was shorn off in one bite. The only animal with the size and strength to possibly do this is, you guessed it, the mighty Megalodon. Or maybe a sperm whale, but they got no reason to go after these guys. Number 9. Unusually Young Teeth Still yet another sighting, I promise we're gonna get into those in a bit, but there's also something pretty compelling here. This story has something to do with the British ship HMS Challenger, a former small warship that was converted into the first dedicated oceanographic ship with its own laboratories, microscopes, and other scientific equipment on board. Its job was to explore the oceans and discover new animals that have never been previously discovered, mostly by dredging the bottom of the ocean and see what they can drag up. While it was dredging a seabed near Tahiti in 1875, it pulled up a pair of megalodon teeth. Over the years, dating of the teeth has produced mixed results. Some dates fall to the 10,000 to 15,000 year old range, and that's a far cry from 1.5 million years ago, when megalodons supposedly went extinct. If the dating is accurate, megalodons have survived to a far later time than previously thought. And if they made it to as late as 10,000 years ago, who's to say they aren't roaming the oceans today? Number 8. The Google Image Ever since Google Maps was launched, a lot of people have been finding strange things on there. Some are easily explainable, like glitches on the photo or misidentifying certain things or animals to be something totally different. An example is one recent viral photo, which many thought to be the proof of the Kraken, which turned out to be, well, just a rock. The image reportedly shows a Google Map image in the Bahamas. In it, you can clearly see the silhouette of an extremely large fish. Could it be a whale shark, the only living animal that could even remotely match what's on the photo? Yeah, it could be. But if you see the photo, there's something a bit off with the shape for it to be a whale shark. Of course, it is a bit premature to declare this to be a megalodon, but what are the other possibilities barring the whale and basking shark? Number 7. The Cape Town Photo this piece of evidence caused both a sensation and an uproar dividing mainstream scientists and those who are keeping an open mind. This very famous photo shows an extremely large fish swimming alongside German U-boats, reportedly taken just off the coast of Cape Town, South Africa during the height of World War II over in 1942. The photo even shows German sailors looking at the monstrous beast as it swims alongside the submarines. Using the length of the subs as a basis, the length of the fish, just from the dorsal fin to the tail, is a whopping 64 feet. Many have claimed that this is undeniable evidence of the Megalodon still exists today, or at least one was still alive in 1942. However, a lot also says the photo was faked, and it was the Discovery Channel, the ones who showed the photo in the documentary about Megs, was behind it all. If the photo is proven to be true, it's definitely a game changer, and it would be enough to change minds of people who have been saying that the Megalodon is already extinct. Number 6. The David Stead Sighting In 1918, the ichthyologist David Stead recorded a strange unease among the lobstermen of Port Stephens, Australia. Although their livelihoods depended on the sea, the men could not bring themselves to venture out to their favorite crayfish spot near Broaden Island for fear of what they had just seen. 
They had reported seeing a monstrous, ghostly white shark of such mind-boggling size that apparently no one could agree exactly how big the leviathan was. The shark was big enough to swallow several lobster pots at least, but the size estimates Stead drew from the workers ranged from 115 feet to an absurd 300 foot minimum. This shark, which Dead believes to be of the White Death type, was a remnant of a very real species that sculled the seas for millions of years. Of course, I'm talking about the Megalodon. If Stead was right about his size estimates, there may still be a living Megalodon, or even a living population out there at sea. Although, I will admit that's a little absurdly big for a Megalodon, though. Number 5. On a Mexican Beach. Yet another piece of evidence that has divided millions. But if you're a staunch believer in the continued existence of the Megalodon, then this video footage will surely be enough for you. Footage emerged of a beach shark, reportedly in some beach in Mexico. While you could say that this could just be a great white shark, it definitely looks larger than anyone I've seen. And do you know what kind of shark whose size much closely resembles it's the Megalodon? I think we can all kind of, you know, come to a conclusion on that one now. Of course, skeptics will always tell anybody who would listen that it's just a beach great white shark. But the fact is, there are no great whites that could even possibly reach that size. That's according to my research, at least. Then there are also people who would say that the size as reported was greatly exaggerated. But then again, video evidence doesn't lie. But as they say, no amount of evidence, no matter how convincing, is enough for skeptics. I guess someone will need to catch a mega live or at least capture footage of one in the wild. And speaking of footage, number four, the Black Demon. The Black Demon Shark is an enormous black shark whose territory is said to be just off the coast of Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. In recent times, several local fishermen have reported seeing the black monstrosity. The Black Demon is said to be 20 to 60 feet long and weighing anywhere between 50 to 100,000 pounds. It is said to resemble a great white, but with very dark coloration and a truly monstrous tail. In 2009, the TV series Monster Quest dispatched a film crew to the Sea of Cortez to investigate the claims from American sport fisherman Eric Mack, who was sailing off the coast of Baja in July of 2008 when he encountered an unidentified creature that met the legend's description. The ocean-dwelling monstrosity, if it exists, has been suspected of being an oversized gray white, perhaps with melanism, which is the development of dark-colored pigment in the skin, or the opposite of albinism. But of course, the more popular theory is that the supposedly extinct megalodon still roams the coast of Baja. So swimmers beware. Number 3. The Coast Guard Footage Aside from sailors, who obviously spend most of their lives at sea, the guys who are most likely to catch footage of the Mighty Meg would be the Coast Guard. On their rescue helicopters, they would have the perfect vantage point to spot anything lurking below the waves. And in this rather controversial footage, they might have accidentally found the elusive Megalodon. The Brazilian Coast Guard caught sight of the monstrous fish while attempting a rescue at sea. At first, the Coast Guard officers didn't notice the giant shadow swimming past them beneath the waves, but after reviewing the footage later on, they couldn't believe their eyes. If the size of the shadow was of any indication, the animal was upwards of 60 feet long. Of course, it could have been another large fish, primarily the whale shark, but there is one glaring flaw in that assumption. Whale sharks don't swim anywhere near Brazil. Furthermore, the footage has been analyzed by countless experts, and there's no way that it could have been doctored. With this, the video has been touted as the best evidence for the continued existence of this beastly shark. Number 2. The Zane Grey Sighting Pearl Zane Grey was an American author and dentist best known for his popular adventure novels and stories associated with the Western genre in literature and the arts. He idealized the American frontier. Riders of the Purple Sage was his best-selling book. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. What does an award-winning novelist with a penchant for writing westerns have anything to do with megalodons? Well, he believes he actually saw one, or rather a shark too big to be and to quote him, a harmless white shark. Strong words. In the novel Megalodon, Fact or Fiction, Rick Emmer writes that Grey claimed to have seen one of the man-eating monsters of the South Pacific, a shark much longer than his 30-40 foot boat. Apparently, the shark was yellow and green, with a square head, immense pectoral fins, and a few white spots. It does have to be stated that Gray himself didn't say that he thought what he saw was a megalodon. But what other shark could there be? 
Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Great Barrier Reef Sighting the Great Barrier Reef is one of the world's largest marine habitats, serving as home to millions of fishes and other sea creatures. Although most of it is readily accessible, scientists believe that they still have much to learn about the reef. In fact, there still may be a lot of unknown species left to be discovered. In line with that, the Great Barrier Reef may also be the perfect hiding place for a species long thought extinct. In the 1960s, along the outer edges of Australia's Great Barrier Reef, an 85-foot ship experienced engine trouble, which forced them to weigh anchor for repairs. Although the men subsequently refused to openly report what they had seen for fear of public ridicule, the captain and his crew later told friends of sighting of an immense shark as it moved slowly past their ship. Whitish in color, they were awed by its size. It was as long, if not longer, than their boat. Experienced men of the sea, they too were certain the creature was not a whale. So what was it? Other writers, such as author Rick Emmer, suggest it could have been Megalodon. Did any of these sightings make you believe that the Megalodon still exists? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later everybody!